Soldiers from the Territorial Army have been patrolling along the Green Line in Cyprus on the first ever deployment for a reservist unit. The troops are making history and working on one of the longest ever United Nations peacekeeping missions. Well, the United Nations have been in Cyprus since 1964 when the first outbreaks of civil unrest and ethnic violence took place. That was when the Green Line was established throughout Nicosia. Um, in 1974 there was the further violence and then towards the end of 1974 there was the ceasefire line drawn providing that buffer between the two forces and helping to stabilise the situation. Troops have been patrolling and observing the buffer zone between the two opposing forces making sure that the peace is kept. Um, our patrols um, and our job is to look after the area, make sure the status quo remains the same. Uh, we do our patrols by vehicle, by foot and by bike. The advantage of taking the bikes on patrol is that they can cover uh, quite a good area that may not necessarily be accessible by vehicle and also because they take a little bit longer to get around the place they can observe um, more directly. The soldiers are also responsible for patrolling through Nicosia where the Green Line cuts straight through the city which left hundreds of buildings abandoned in 1974. Uh, the best thing about being on tour, I think, would be learning the history of the area that we're patrolling. Um, the buildings and the houses have some sort of significance and before we came here we learnt a lot about it. So to actually be around it and put all that, what we know, into practice and finding things from dating back from 1974 is something not a lot of people would be able to find. Although there have been recent improvements in the peace process, the soldiers have to be ready to deal with any incident. The Mobile Force Reserve is trained in riot control to deal with any possible civil unrest. The riot control exercise that we've just run through is normal training for the soldiers here. We pr practice all these drills so that they can respond to any incident in the buffer zone. We would deploy along with the normal soldiers in the sectors and provide the incident control if there is a, an incident that expands to violence. Uh, we will then protect the buffer zone from incursions. The reservists have been selected from all over the country and bring with them their own strengths from their civilian backgrounds. Well this is the, uh, the first time that it's a, a territorial army deployment to undertake this particular mission. Um, the territorial army bring a number of uh, bonuses that don't come with their regular counterparts and they've approached it in a different, slightly different manner. We're now over halfway in the tour um, and the territorial army is standing proud. As the troops continue to work hard until they hand over their blue berets in April, they will be looking forward to getting home to their families and friends and getting back to their civilian jobs. Captain Tom McShane, Army News Online, the buffer zone in Cyprus.